Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Welcome back to another amazing tutorial. And this time I am here with Mocha Pro 2021 new update Pro Mesh. This will be a lot of fun. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Guys, this video is sponsored by Boris FX and right now we are in After Effects 2020 and I already imported my clip here. You can see this is a basic simple clip and here I will show you about the Pro Mesh. So first of all, you have to install the Mocha Pro for Adobe platform. Then you can just click, right click, Effects panel and you can find this Boris FX Mocha and Boris FX Silhouette. So just go to this Boris FX Mocha and then from here Mocha Pro. Just select this and it will come here. So now you have to click this Mocha button here and the Mocha interface for the Adobe platform, it will be open here. Okay, so right now we are in Mocha Pro and this is 2021 8.0, the latest version. And in this version, the Boris FX platforms are doing so much things and I really love, but my most favorite one is Pro Mesh one. Okay, so first of all, select this spline and we'll drawing a spline uh, on this area. So let's draw a spline. Now that the spline is created successfully, now let me tell you about the settings which is newly introduced here. The first of all, they added this mesh button here. So if you turn on this and then generate mesh, you can exactly see the mesh is a look something like that. Now this is by default, which is automatically generated. Now let me tell you about the more detailed specifications. So first of all, this is called like generation mode where you can find this automatic and the uniform one. Now the automatic one basically used for like uh, cloths and some kind of textures and all, but uniform one is basically for the skin or any detailed kind of texture if you want to track then you can use this uniform now whenever you will click or you will change anything you just have to click this generate mesh now this will be for the uniform one and now talking about the mesh size if you increase this to let's take around like 50 the and then you can click this generate mesh you can exactly see the vertices between these gaps are getting increased whenever you increase the mesh size so in this case let's decrease it to 40 only because i already done this before the 40 is very good result of number when you see the final tracking data now talking about this vertices spline option if you turn this off and if you generate the mesh you can exactly see some vertices are going deleted and exactly the entire area fit on this mesh main spline area sometimes it's really worked but in this case i'm just turn it on and click this generate mesh and now talking about the adaptive contrast now this area is so much like black parts are there so many like contrast will be changing so the for basic purposes i'm just turn it on and again generate mesh that's it now talking about this smoothness option by default you should make it to 50 but you can use this auto smoothness this will lot of helping options here so now you have successfully created all the settings here and now you can start your tracking from here just click track forward so now in the meantime, if you're still not subscribed to our channel VFX World, please do subscribe and also like, comment, and share. And for the more updated notification, press the bell button. So guys, the tracking is completely done. Now you can see the tracking is looks so much good and the muscle movements with the tracking also doing a really, really good job. Now then going to the next step, which is the stabilization mode. Just click here and now if you play this, you can exactly see the entire mode is stabilized. But before that, we have to select our first frame because I want to take my first frame as my reference frame. And after that, just click this mesh wrap and then you have to click this one because the expandable planar surface will be selected on this particular frame. Just click here and now that's it you have to go to this draft mode and from here I'm just making it to high because as you all know the details about all this should be high and now that's it just go to file save project and let's close the mocha and jump into after effects now we're back into after effects now as I told you that we want to add our first frame as a reference frame so I already have imported this one just click drag and drop here so this is our reference frame which is a static frame if we play this there is nothing movement it was a jpeg and now just turn this on now just right click pre-compose and move all attributes and just name it to like clean and then just press ok okay so now i just want to add some tattoos here so first of all you have to add some data here just click this one select this mocha pro Control c and select this layer and then Control v and now you have to go to this module renders and from here turn this render mode on and the lens distortion should be changed to stabilized wrapped and after that go to this mat and from here apply mat that's it guys now the magic part will be starting go to this project i have already imported some tattoos here so just double click on your clean plate 
and just import your that tattoos inside of this layer and let's match your positions as much as you can now it's completely up to you how you want to increase it how you want to make it to visible in front of you now the position is completely done now let's turn off this background plate it should be important this is the most important part just turn this off now go back to the renderer option and from the normal mode you can change it to multiply and now if you notice this is very sharp so just press t and just opacity should be little little down and yes that's it fit to screen and let's play this first so guys i hope you really love this video of how you can do this amazing process inside of mocha pro 2021 new update pro mesh and if you really like this video then don't forget to subscribe also like comment and share and before going forward you just have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below and end of this video again i just want to thank to boris fx for providing us this software license and for the amazing update of mocha pro i wish in future we'll get more updates something amazing so guys see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching keep